just want to take a minute here and show you guys, you know, before I've showed you this uh, set of forks on the skid loader, my brother went and welded up a set of extensions. When he bought one of the buckets he had, there was a set of forks that came with it, I believe, that uh, clipped on in a way that they were just a short fork. It was only from here to, like, it, it, this fork here was an original fork and it come over and had been up in the air. And what he did was he cut the forks off and then he welded a couple pieces of this angle iron, which is actually the old sawmill track. You remember the holes? This is where the, uh, the sawmill guide, or the clamp went on. And there's the bolts for the, uh, the different bunks. But we cut them down because we weren't using those pieces of angle iron anymore. And he laid those pieces of angle over this uh, fork like a piece of channel. On the back side here, there's a couple of bolt holes. He welded these pieces of angle the other way around. And then just put a, a simple bolt through the back of this. You can see it on this one over here, I'll show you. I took this one out so I could flip this fork around, but this one here still has it in there. And that keeps the fork extensions from sliding off. I took this one out, and I'll slide this one off, and I'll flip it over, and I'll show you. I still can slid that off. You see the original length on the forks. And you see the difference to the extension. I'll show you, this is upside down now. This is the uh, the original short forks that we didn't really have much of a use for. But he cut down and welded it onto those pieces of angle. Put a small piece of angle iron in there to help bridge and support the, the two pieces of angle iron there. And then this open channel here is where the fork sits in. And on the back side here he has these other two pieces flipped the other way. And there's a piece welded on out across this way to help support the uh, the fork. At first I wasn't really too sure about the idea. He had mentioned this to me and said something about wanting to make fork extensions. And the whole idea of this is that little extra length on those forks go through the stacks of lumber that we have and we're having trouble going all the way through the stacks of lumber and you go about you know, three-quarter of the way through the stack and then the boards on the far side want to tip and fall. So now we come out and pick up a stack of lumber put these fork extensions on and go all the way through and you have an extra extra couple of feet there and you can go through the stack of lumber with. So I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you. You know sometimes it's better just to have a little bit of redneck engineering I guess you know. Nothing you can't do with a welder in a few hours of time I guess. Took an angle grinder and cut the end of the fork off that had the bend on it and put it in there and welded it up. I'll show you a video here. I get to take a load of 4x4s off my truck. I could reach all the way into the truck bed with them and bring it out and it takes the weight you know I put them to the test already a couple times and didn't bend yet so I don't know how much weight I'd want to put all the way out here and have you know the end of the fork is right here 
look up underneath here a little bit maybe. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see that with the way the lighting is. But the end of the fork comes out just underneath through that piece of angle iron that's welded on there. And then uh, it butts right up against that other fork. So the weak point is going to be between this fork and this fork. But I'll tell you, it butts right against it, so I really don't think there's much of a weak point there. As long as you get that weight past that point, I really don't think these things will ever bend. But for lifting a stack of lumber, I think they're going to come in handy. There's always something to improve upon out here. You know, it's you, you, you never finish learning. You always learn every day. You know, you figure something out. You figure a way to help yourself and make your process a little bit better. And every day it seems to get a little bit better. Got that set of grapples last week for this. And now the set of fork extensions. And, you know, every little bit helps. One small thing at a time. I don't know how I would do it without the skid loader. Sure does make life a whole lot easier. Well, that's about all I got for today. I just wanted to uh, share the little improvements we're making along our way. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys.